So how we got started with cycling was through a, a high school friend of mine invited us out to the uh, the local Wednesday night race series at Hardwood Skiing Bike, Hardwood Hills at that time. That was back in 2007, so it's wild to think we've been doing it for this long. Started as a family affair. Uh, Mom would come out with my brother and I. We were on $250 beat up like Costco bikes. Uh, but from there, yeah, we, we progressed uh, and got hooked and every week was being aired times on the, the local fun and uh, uh, serious courses. From that point, we, we joined the uh, Harvard Devo program the, the next year. I had some phenomenal coaches uh, coming through that program and a lot of, uh, a lot of great friends made through that program and through this, uh, this area of Horseshoe Valley and Simcoe County. This is our room. Uh, these are all of our past teams and past jerseys that we've had. So this is uh, one of my first team that I was on, Angry Johnny's. And uh, yeah, great team. Stepping stone to the Norco Factory team for me. Um, this was another one of their jerseys. And then we have, uh, I believe this is Peter's first, first year on the Norco Factory team. Um, now we have new updated kits. And then yeah, then we have our whole lineup of kit. We have it nice separated by a always fun sticker. Um, my side, Peter's side, our side. Uh, Quinton and I still share a room. I have top bunk, he's got bottom bunk. Uh, then I went to university and it was, it was his room and then when we're home in the summer we're out racing so. It only gets weird when, when he wants to go to sleep at like eight and I stay up till midnight, but it's just, just how it goes. Cycling's a huge deal in the family, and we've we've put together some some shadow boxes uh, to just kind of show off some of the memories and stuff. So uh, we have a national championship uh, box with a few of the national series Canada Cup medals in there, all gold. Um, but over the years, we've collectively been on every step of the. Uh, podium at nationals and have won a lot of national championships between between the two of us and between multiple disciplines between like time trials, cyclocross, mountain bike, relay. Over there um, is another shadow box about the Ontario Summer Games. Quinton actually has the most medals in that box. So we have the Buckhall Mudslinger 2017 champion right here. No, second place. Second place. Not because I was fast. Because <laughs> she, I she showed, showed up. up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Commitment. <laughs> Dedication. I was just I felt bad. I could hear all this talk in the car. Oh no. I have a medal too. Yeah. <laughs> no, she rides. She tries to she does her best. <laughs> yeah. This shadow box just shows all of the Ontario Summer Games that we've been involved with. Um, Peter's been to two of them. I think I've only been to one. Uh, this side is me, basically, and then that's all Peter. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm I'm still missing a shadow box here. There's supposed to be one full of just me, but nothing to put in there yet. So it, it'll come hopefully. The first World Cup in South Africa this year was pretty cool. Um, I was ranked number 11th going into that and had my best World Cup. Uh, or this year, uh, not my best one, um, but I finished 24th there, so top 25 is pretty nice, and then I try my best.
I had been involved in an awful lot of the travel, logistical stuff, making sure that they were getting to places on time. Um, they've since uh, started taking care of themselves with a lot of their flight and accommodations and it's been going really well for them and I'm really proud that they're able to do that themselves now. We got intrigued by the hardwood scenario that was next door to us here and um, that's basically where it all started for them. We got them in enrolled in the uh, Wednesday night series. They seem to be doing pretty well with it. Um, Peter would uh, would do really well at races and Quinton was kind of um, a shadow in the background doing his thing, but a lot younger. So um, we, uh, we he, he would slip by, sort of slip through uh, being noticed. I'm Pamela DeSera. I'm Peter and Quinton's mom. Super proud to be a part of the journey with them. Um, as young boys, there was never a dull moment. Well, I take that back, there's never a dull moment still. Quite often I was left with the boys um, myself and we would go and do hikes, lots of different sports, and then we got into biking. And the first time we ever went biking, we took uh, the boys to Colson Hill, um, which is just outside of Cookstown, between Cookstown and Bradford. And Quinton had training wheels. Well, you can't mountain bike with training wheels. So Perry stayed in the parking lot with Quinton. Peter and I went and tried this single trail type riding, super fun. Um, and from there, it's just become uh, a part of our life. Hey guys, I'm Quentin. And I'm Peter. And if you guys enjoyed our story and want to keep following us, hit the like and subscribe button below. And if you thought these trails look super rad and you want to come ride something as rad as this, we're in Horseshoe Valley, Ontario. You can find a lot of trails in Simcoe County and Oro Medante. It's super rad. It's well worth it. It's close to the city. Shred on. Yeah, shred on. Shred on. Too much shred. <laughs>